Now, President William Ruto to, chose to sign the IABC amendment bill into law at a more publicized event than the recent assenting of bills which have been happening in State House. The President had invited other political leaders to the KICC, whereas our reporter Vera Mora reports security at the CBD and along Parliament Road was tight. Since the Occupy Parliament demos organized by Generation Z on 25th of June 2024 and consequent anti-government protests, President William Roto has not appeared in public as frequently as he does. Security was enforced on all roads leading to KICC from the City Hall Road to Parliament. Police officers managed traffic on the roads. I didn't find it easy to come in here this morning for various reasons, one of which was the barricading of the route to KICC. But I must thank um, the organizers for having brought it to KICC, because if it was a state house, Mr. President, it would even have been a little harder. The reason is simple. Our country is at a crossroads. But after wiper leader Kalonzo Msioka aired his challenges of getting into KICC, most roadblocks within Nairobi CBD were removed. <laughs> it all began a day before Occupy Parliament demos. Organizers of the peace event that was scheduled to take place at Radisson Hotel cancelled President William Ruto's visit as Generation Z had vowed to occupy the hotel. When he appeared in public at AC Kenya Hururu Church on 23rd of June 2024, congregants and ACK priests had to line up at a security checkpoint that had been mounted by police where vigorous frisking was conducted with women having to give out their handbags for checks. He then attended another church service on Sunday 30th of June at Lolgorian Pefa Church in Kilgori, Snaro County. After that, all his briefings have been taking place from the house on the hill, Nairobi. The president has also not been out of the country since 13th of June 2024, after his trip to Italy and Switzerland. On the X space he held with the youth, Gen Z's, among other things, told the president to cut down on his foreign visits. Vera, Mora. Kitchen News, Nairobi. Jubilee Christian Church founding pastor Alan Kiona has died today at a 